What is going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome. I'll put links down in the description below, but we're going to get right into this. Super excited for this car. You already know, like my Nissans too, as far as the uh, R34 skyline here. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and, like I said, I'll put links down in the description below, but if you're just jumping on our website, OMGRC.com, click on pre-orders. That's where you can find this beauty. So we're going to go ahead. Let's click on it. We'll talk about it a little bit. As far as to when this car is coming out, it's coming out, they say, as far as Kyosho sent an email out last night saying that it would be here in May. Now, as far as Kyosho Japan, it said sometime in April, right? So I'm going to really, I'm going to say really June, right? So usually uh, Kyosho will get their cars late in the month and then it rolls over to the following month. So that's why I would say something like that. All right, so this is a 110 scale, the EP four wheel drive phaser MK2 FZ02 Nissan Skyline, the 2000 GTR, it's in tune version, silver. So this chassis is the shorter one. Um, if it's a sh longer chassis, we'll have an L after the two. So this should fit my drift car. So I'm gonna probably, if, if, if so, I will be putting this thing on my drift car that's two wheel drive so that would really be cool to bring to track other than the, eh, the only part is with the holes put some stickers or something i don't know figure out something but uh nonetheless i like this body i have the 77 let's just jump to this thing here all right so we can see it all the uh underneath the the body itself we got our brushed motor our electronic speed controller we got our receiver and then we have our servo underneath we have our on and off switch our driveline is plastic. If by chance you do want to upgrade that one, you can't upgrade to aluminum. There is another option that, that are floating out there, like a steel one that's even more rigid, things like that. So uh, a Dean connection. So for your battery connection, you get the Velcro strap. So this would be recommended on a 2S LiPo. Now, in previous videos, I've run this thing on 3S. Not recommended because the motor will burn out a lot shorter. It's going to run hotter. And it won't last. So this thing is a, you can run on nickel metal. You can run it on a 2S LiPo. So you can check your manual and everything like that or the specs down in this video as far as the description too. But let's get this to the car itself. They did a really good job. Again, Kyosha does awesome. Right down to when it comes to the mirrors, the windshield wipers, even just here as far as that, man. They did a really good job. Now you can put LEDs in this. It doesn't come with LEDs, just so you guys do know. Um, but it does have light buckets front and rear. And uh, yeah, I like the little spoiler on the back of it. We got a little license plate, got our little LED. Yeah, man, this thing is, even the rims themselves, as far as that one goes, like it's that time period, it works. Like those would be it, really nice. So I'm digging what they did. And like I said, yeah, this is definitely a cool car. So to all my JDM fans out there, you know, what do you guys think? I like it. It's a mean looking car. Looks super awesome. This is like the beginnings, man, of all this stuff. So really dope. I'm, I'm digging it. Radio wise, I have no, no complaints. Other than only one thing I guess would be is that the buttons are exposed you could kind of bump them and out you know kind of mess up your tune slightly on that one other than that man it is a great radio range on it never had one issue with it then likes foam grip rubber grip four double batteries yeah i've used this radio for many different cars because i've always preferred this radio it's just a nice radio hands down for an rtr yeah it's good um yeah as far as tires go this is all-wheel drive so um, that's why you have that centered drive shaft for that part of it. Again, the body clips would just be one of those things I would like to see Kyosho eventually kind of phase out and uh, get some other way of mounting the bodies. Because again, Kyosho does such an awesome job with their bodies. It's a shame to see those body, those clips, you know, taking away that scale realism to it. So there you go on that part of it. So like I said, uh, there's more information that's here as far as like the plastic tub chassis, all that stuff. It's in there as far as suspension, aluminum cap shocks, lots of tunability. 
you got a different options as far as when it comes to these little discs. I don't know if they show you a different one. Okay, the disc. What it'll do is just accommodate that it's capable of uh, 190 and 200 millimeter bodies, giving you the width. So this basically this part just kind of stands out a little bit further, allowing for a wider body stance, making your wheels go out a little bit further. Really nice. It is cool that they did that. Um, hats off to them as far as being able to accommodate little things and just that little, and it comes with it. So yeah, really cool that Kyosha does something like that. This part, I'm a fan of. Can't get it wrong, right? You just look at your manual. It's going to tell you what gears. So if you, this can go from a, I think it's a 29 to, yeah, 29 to a 37 tooth pinion gear. So if you want to get a little bit more speed, the only thing I would recommend that you do when you, if you want to up the gear ratio, just to make your brushed version a little bit faster, is just check that motor temp. If it's too touched, if it's too hot to touch, you, you got, you got to reduce that gear ratio. So um, other than that, you always put like a little fan cooler on it, you know, motor fan cooler, and that'll help cool it down. But ideally, they put it at that gear ratio of 32 because that's pretty much an optimal gear, not overdriving the motor, you know, making it work harder than it should or has to. Cool tires. Like them, like I said, kind of period correct when it comes to the rims, digging it, even just the tread on them. Awesome. There's the LEDs themselves. That is the part number. So if you guys do want to pick one of these up, you can always do that. You can always customize it yourself as far as getting an LED kit, but it may require some soldering depending on what kit you get and uh, as far as that goes. So uh, that's usually what I have to do, but there is the part number. So you can check that all out. Um, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about this car. I know what I think about it is awesome. Thank you, Kyo Show, for finally producing one of these cars. This thing's sick. I would really love to see you guys come out with some kind of drift car, two-wheel drive. You know, it's just where I'm at right now. So it would be cool. But nonetheless, you guys got awesome cars. Love the bodies. Keep it up. And uh, appreciate all you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at OMGRC. We do set up, uh, you can always uh, sign up for our newsletter as well. But again, thank you again for watching. You guys take care. Peace.